Right now, somewhere in the Pacific Ocean, 5,000 American sailors are creating enough trash to fill six dumpsters every single day. That's 3,000 pounds of waste floating on a piece of American steel the size of four football fields. But here's what'll blow your mind. Not one piece of that garbage can just be thrown overboard. Every banana peel, every plastic wrapper, every drop of sewage from 410,000 gallons of wastewater has to be sorted, processed, and handled with military precision. The waste management operation on a single aircraft carrier is more complex than most cities, and what happens in those cramped rooms below deck will shock you. When we think about the mighty power of America's aircraft carriers, we picture fighter jets launching into the sky and brave sailors defending our freedom. But behind all that incredible military might lies one of the most challenging logistical operations you've never heard about. These floating cities don't just move planes and weapons, they're dealing with waste problems that would make any city mayor lose sleep. The USS George H.W. Bush houses nearly 5,000 of our finest servicemen and women. Each one of these heroes generates waste just like you and me, but they're stuck in the middle of the ocean with nowhere to put it. What they've created to solve this problem is nothing short of engineering genius. If you're proud of American innovation and military excellence, type proud in the comments below. Main content begins. Let's start with the numbers that'll make your head spin. Every 24 hours, these naval warriors produce enough solid waste to fill a small apartment. We're talking about 500 pound bundles of food scraps and paper, and they make eight of these every single day. That's 4,000 pounds of organic waste alone, not counting everything else. But wait, it gets more intense. The metal waste they generate, they compress it into barrels that weigh 300 pounds each. 10 of these monster containers are filled daily. That means our sailors are creating 3,000 pounds of metal waste every day just from cans, equipment, and materials. Now here's where it gets really mind-blowing. These brave men and women also produce 410,000 gallons of wastewater daily. That's enough water to fill up eight residential swimming pools every single day. And remember, they're in the middle of the ocean where you can't just connect to a city sewer system. You might be thinking, why don't they just dump everything overboard? Well, our military takes environmental responsibility seriously and international law is stricter than you'd believe. The truth is, Managing waste on an aircraft carrier requires more precision than launching a fighter jet. Every piece of trash has to be identified, sorted, and processed according to strict military regulations and international maritime law. One wrong move and you could face serious consequences. Down in the belly of these magnificent ships, 16 specially trained sailors work around the clock in what they call the Waste Management Department. These unsung heroes work in cramped, humid spaces that smell exactly like you'd expect from the garbage of 5,000 people. One sailor described their job perfectly. I call us raccoons because we dig through everybody's trash and make sure it's sorted properly. The sorting process is where things get really complex. Everything has to be separated into specific categories. Food waste, paper, metal, glass, plastic, and hazardous materials. Each category gets processed completely differently and the rules for what happens to each type will surprise you. Food waste and paper get the most interesting treatment. Once the ship is three nautical miles from shore, these materials go through a pulping machine that shreds them into pieces no bigger than 12 millimeters. Then they're mixed into a slurry and pumped overboard. It's like a giant garbage disposal, but with military grade precision. At 12 nautical miles from shore, combustible materials like wood, old uniforms, rags, and magazines get incinerated. These ships carry massive incinerators that burn at temperatures hot enough to completely destroy organic materials. The ashes from these fires are small enough that they can be safely disposed of at sea. But here's where the rules get really strict. Metal and glass can only be disposed of when the ship is 25 nautical miles from any coastline. Even then, they don't just throw it overboard. Everything gets shredded first and placed in biodegradable burlap sacks before going into the ocean. The most challenging waste category is plastic. International maritime law completely prohibits throwing any plastic into the ocean. The only exceptions are life-threatening emergencies where crew safety is at risk. So what happens to all that plastic? Every piece of plastic waste goes through an incredible machine called a compress melt unit, 
or CMU. This device rinses the plastic, shreds it into small pieces, then heats and compresses it into solid discs that are 20 inches across and 4 inches thick. These plastic pucks get stored on board until the ship reaches port or transfers them to another vessel. The engineering behind this system is remarkable. The CMU can process hundreds of pounds of plastic waste daily, turning bulky trash into compact, stackable discs that take up minimal storage space. This technology ensures that not one piece of American military plastic ends up polluting our oceans. But what I'm about to tell you about sewage processing will absolutely blow your mind. You won't believe the high-tech systems our military has developed. Handling human waste from 5,000 people on a ship is a challenge that would stump most engineers. But our naval forces have created systems so advanced they make city water treatment plants look primitive. Before we dive deeper into these incredible waste processing systems, please take a second to like this video and subscribe. Over 98% of viewers watch without subscribing. It costs you nothing but makes a huge difference to us. The sewage system on modern aircraft carriers is called CHT, Collect, Hold, Transfer. But calling it just a sewage system doesn't do it justice. This is a full-scale water treatment facility packed into a warship. When a sailor flushes a toilet, that waste enters an integrated treatment system more sophisticated than most municipal facilities. The wastewater goes through bioreactors, sediment tanks, filtration systems, and sterilization processes. Only when the water is completely sterile and meets strict environmental standards does it get pumped back into the ocean. The regulations are incredibly strict. The ship must be at least four nautical miles from shore before any treated water can be discharged. Every drop gets tested to ensure it meets environmental standards that are tougher than most city requirements. But even with all this advanced technology, problems can happen. The newest carrier, the USS Gerald R. Ford, ran into issues that show just how complex these systems really are. The sewage pipes were built too narrow to handle the waste volume from over 4,000 crew members. When the system clogs, they have to flush the entire network with acidic chemicals. The cost for one of these emergency flushes? A staggering $400,000. The older carriers face different challenges. The USS George H.W. Bush uses a vacuum-based system with 250 miles of piping running throughout the ship. When one section loses vacuum pressure, every toilet on the entire carrier becomes unusable. Imagine 5,000 sailors with nowhere to go to the bathroom. In 2011, this happened multiple times, and repair crews worked 35-hour shifts just to get the toilets working again. These bathroom emergencies got so bad that sailors had to use industrial sinks and shower drains as makeshift toilets. The Navy learned from these experiences and now carries backup systems, but it shows how critical proper waste management is to military operations. The newest technology being installed is called PAWDS, Plasma Arc Waste Destruction System. This cutting-edge system uses plasma technology to completely destroy combustible waste at incredibly high temperatures. It's so advanced that only four of these systems exist in the world, and they're all going to American aircraft carriers. PAWDS is compact, all-electric, and can handle almost any type of combustible waste without producing harmful emissions. This represents the future of naval waste management, clean, efficient, and environmentally responsible. The logistics of managing all this waste during long deployments is staggering. Aircraft carriers can spend months at sea without touching land. During Operation Enduring Freedom, the USS Theodore Roosevelt spent 159 days underway without visiting a single port. For 159 days, every piece of waste had to be processed, stored, or disposed of using onboard systems. During these extended deployments, waste management becomes a critical military operation. Running out of storage space for processed waste could force a carrier to return to port early, disrupting military operations. The 16-person waste management crew becomes as important to the mission as the pilots flying combat sorties. Supply ships play a crucial role in this operation. Once a week, massive supply vessels pull alongside the carrier in a dangerous operation called underway replenishment. During these transfers, barrels of compressed waste, plastic pucks, and hazardous materials get moved from the carrier to the supply ship. 
These supply ships then transport the waste to shore facilities for final disposal. The timing of these transfers is critical. Too much waste buildup can overwhelm storage capacity, but requesting supply ship visits too frequently can compromise military operations and reveal the carrier's location to potential enemies. Weather conditions make these transfers even more challenging. Moving 300-pound barrels of compressed waste between ships in rough seas requires incredible skill and courage from our sailors. One mistake could result in injury or a loss of critical equipment. The environmental impact of these operations extends far beyond just following regulations. Our Navy takes pride in being environmental stewards. They know that protecting our oceans is protecting America's future. The waste management teams see themselves as ocean guardians, ensuring that American military operations don't harm marine life. Recent studies show that 8 million tons of plastic enter our oceans every year from civilian sources. By keeping every piece of military plastic out of the water, our Navy is setting an example for the entire world. They're proving that military strength and environmental responsibility can work together. The training required for waste management specialists is extensive. These sailors must learn international maritime law, environmental regulations, equipment operations, safety procedures, and emergency protocols. They're not just handling garbage, they're operating complex industrial systems that could affect international relations if something goes wrong. Safety is paramount in these operations. Working with incinerators, chemical processing equipment, and compressed waste systems presents serious hazards. The spaces are cramped, hot, and filled with potentially dangerous fumes. These brave men and women risk their safety daily to ensure their shipmates have a clean, functional living environment. The cost of these waste management systems is substantial. The PAWD's system alone costs millions of dollars per ship. The personnel, equipment, maintenance, and supplies for waste management represent a significant portion of a carrier's operating budget. But compared to the environmental fines and international incidents that could result from improper waste disposal, it's money well spent. Innovation continues in this field. The Navy is constantly researching new technologies to make waste processing more efficient, environmentally friendly, and cost-effective. Future carriers might include even more advanced systems that can process waste types that currently require special handling. One area of ongoing development is food waste processing. Current systems can handle most organic waste, but bones and fruit pits still require special disposal methods. Engineers are working on enhanced pulping systems that could process these materials, reducing the amount of waste that needs to be stored on board. The human element of waste management often gets overlooked, but it's crucial to the operation. These 16 sailors work in some of the most challenging conditions on the ship. The work is physically demanding, the environment is unpleasant, and the responsibility is enormous. Yet they take pride in their mission knowing that their work keeps their shipmates healthy and protects the environment. Career advancement opportunities exist within the waste management field. Experienced specialists can become supervisors, trainers, or technical experts. Some move into environmental compliance roles or transfer their skills to civilian waste management careers after military service. The psychological aspects of waste management work shouldn't be underestimated. Working in cramped, smelly conditions while handling other people's trash requires mental toughness. The Navy provides support and rotation schedules to help these sailors maintain their well-being while performing this essential duty. Final segments. What makes this entire operation so remarkable is how it represents American values in action. Our military could take shortcuts, ignore environmental regulations when convenient, or push costs onto other nations. Instead, they've chosen the harder path of complete environmental responsibility. Every day, on carriers around the world, these waste management heroes prove that American military might comes with American values. They show that protecting our planet and defending our nation aren't separate missions, they're the same mission. The next time you see footage of fighter jets launching from a carrier deck, remember the sailors working below in hot, cramped spaces, sorting through tons of waste to keep that operation running. They're the unsung heroes who make everything else possible. Their work ensures that American military operations leave nothing behind except the defense of freedom and democracy. In a world where environmental responsibility matters more than ever, 
Our Navy leads by example, proving that military excellence and environmental stewardship go hand in hand. This incredible waste management operation happens 24-7 on aircraft carriers around the globe, protecting both our national security and our environment. These dedicated sailors deserve our respect and recognition for handling one of the military's toughest jobs with professionalism and pride. If this opened your eyes to another amazing aspect of American military excellence, hit that like button and subscribe for more stories about the incredible people and technology that keep our nation safe.